Okay, we just got our new headlights today. And I'm going to show you exactly how to wire these bad boys up. Um, owning a Jeep, you should be able to install your own headlights by now. Um, your three screws for your other trim, four screws for your part that holds it in, and then your adjusters are here. Out of the box, it comes with a re and re plug and a red wire. In order for this to work properly, to get your daytime running lights, the top ones, your actual headlights, and then for your high beams for everything, you need to do a couple of extra things. So on a Jeep TJ, this is a 1999 TJ, you'll have to cross-reference your own for whatever year you have. Um, just over to the left of your master cylinder, you will see a module. You will disconnect the harness underneath, peel back the plastic, and with a razor blade, you'll cut away some of the electrical tape. You'll find a white wire with an orange stripe. You will cut that. What that will do is will stop the motion signal going to your daytime running lights. From there, you will get a wire and you'll run your wire from your red that comes off your headlights, run them over into the other one, which is tucked up inside, down along into the housing. And from there, I ran that wire up under my dash through up and into the cigarette lighter. So when you turn the vehicle on, I get a signal going to the LEDs, which gives me my daytime running lights. And we will just test this out now. And we'll turn her on. There we go. So theoretically, we have daytime running lights. And from there, we will pull headlamps. And now we have headlamps. And for high beams, and please note with your high beams, you will notice that my high beam indicator is working because I didn't just unplug the module. If you unplug the module, this will not work. By cutting the wire, this will work. And all it does is this just stops the motion sense. So we've got full headlight with high beams. And there we go. So I would recommend after you get it done, take it out at night somewhere. Use your adjuster screws, put it up against a wall, make sure that they're aiming somewhat down for your regular lights. And that, as they say, is that.